at Sebring, the 13th annual running of this event. Uh, we are back looking at an airplane that we saw early on in the LSA world. Uh, this is the ATEC Theta, and uh, this has got a number sequence. Bill's going to tell us a little bit about that, but I wanted to come by and have a look at this airplane because it's kind of disappeared on us for a while. Not in the European market. I've seen it over in those shows, but we hadn't seen it here for a while. Dan Johnson here talking to Bill Simmons, and Bill is the representative of this airplane now here. And uh, Bill, give us a little bit of uh, the overview of the airplane, what its construction material is, and, uh, and, and how you're able to price it at a point that I think a lot of people might find interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, the ATEC is an all carbon fiber airplane, 100%. Uh, it's, it, this one's powered by the uh, 100 horse Rotex IS, but we offer it with the 80 horse, the 100 horse, and the 114 uh, Rotex. Uh, okay, so let's review there. You give it, it, the airplane flies well on the 80. Yes, it does. some people that don't even offer that anymore, but it, I've seen it fly well on the 80. Yes. And you've got the 100 in the carbureted, 100 in the fuel injected, and the turbo. Yes. So you got the whole Rotax line available. Covered over. Okay, <laughs> continue on. Also, uh, we, we use the, here in the United States, we're offering this with the Sport, the 80, at a price that, eight, trying to keep it under the 100 thousand dollar mark we got it for 89.5 that's with steam gauges on the panel instead of a glass cockpit uh, this airplane particularly has a glass cockpit and all the bells and whistles autopilot and such but the standard airplane as you see it uh, in this configuration with the steam gauges is 89.5 and we got that down because their their labor prices is real low and everything on this airplane is made in uh, Czech Republic uh, all the instruments, the brake system, the capper brakes, they were Czech Republic, and they can get it at a big discount price that we can't afford to ship it over there and do this back and forth. But you can have the, anything you want on the panel because it's offered with everything. Okay, so the company has been around for how long? 25 years. And how many of all of their different models are flying? About 600. Okay, uh, that's a pretty good distribution then. Now you said this one has the number 322 on it, and you said there's a number 321. Uh, numbers don't tell you too much, so fill the fill in the blanks for us there, Bill, and let us know what that means. Well, Europe and the rest of the world has an ultralight uh, that you have to meet weight and balance. We're a little bit lower than everybody else. The 321 is actually an ultralight. This is an ultralight in Europe, and especially in the rest of the world. Okay, and so the 322 then brings us into the LSA world, is that yes, right? It, yes, it does. Okay, so uh, this airplane here has got the IS engine on it. Uh, we'll look at the panel here in a second. You can tell me more about it, but I see it's all glass across the front uh, with, the, uh, with the Integra from uh, Tektron Tektronics. That's a uh, Czech company as well, but with a Garmin in the middle. We'll look at that in a little more detail. But this airplane, which is then quite loaded up, you got all the bells and whistles on this one. What kind of money are we talking about for this one? This one came to us at 130000 Okay, so that's your high price that's model. That's your end product. But for folks that are trying to keep that number down, uh, you can do that for them as well. Yes. Okay, so let's suppose I said, well, Bill, this is very intriguing. I like it. Maybe I've gone flying with you. Uh, I'm convinced. I say I want one. How long would it take you to deliver one to me? Uh, we have, uh, we want to stock one constantly, plus the demonstrator, plus our own airplane. So uh, if we stocked it right now, we got a 45 day delivery schedule. Okay, all right, so that's pretty fast then. And uh, the company's got a lot of record doing this, so there shouldn't be any issue with them no. supplying parts to you and the rest of that. Are you stocking parts of the airplane? Uh, we have stocked the necessary parts, such as brake parts, the parts that normally wear out. But they, and the major parts, the engine, we can get right here. Yeah, sure. A lot of yeah. things you can service here, but yeah. uh, but you've got parts in stock in case people, I don't know, bend a gear or something like that? Yes, the standard parts. Okay, that's great. That's great. Well, tell me a little bit about flying characteristics of the airplane. Put it in perspective for me. Uh, give me a few of the speeds that you operate the airplane on. Okay. Help people understand what this, why this airplane is desirable. As you see, the wings, they're, they're a little bit long, but they're only 32 feet long. They have a, they have a, a low aspect ratio, and they're tapered. Uh, the airplane is very fast for its model. We have the prop 
tuned down to 5200 RPM to keep it in the 122 knot light sport category. <laughs> it wants uh, to run fast then. Yeah, it wants to run. We saw that. We saw your demo pilot yeah. or you. I don't know who that was scooting by here pretty good not too many yeah. minutes ago. So I, I was aware now, that it was it, capable of some pretty good speeds. So that makes it a good cross country cruiser. Cross country because we have it sips fuel at uh, 110 knots. We could go 1179 nautical miles Whoa, wow. on 26 gallons. And that means the wing holds 13 in each side. Okay, so you're 26 gallons on board, and that gives you an 1,100 mile range at that economy setting. At that economy setting. But that's still 110 knots? 110 knots. Wow. Okay. And you raise it up over the, uh, if you raise it up, get up to 52, we normally fly cross country at 48, 49 on the RPM. But if you raise it up to 52, now the fuel goes up to four gallons or 7.9, four gallons an hour. So you, you've wasted the, the difference between 110 and 122. If I take you on a long cross country and you land in Phoenix, Arizona, we've already checked it out. When, it, when you land and go in and get a cup of coffee 20 minutes later, I'm right behind you. <laughs> and I've saved all the gas and you burned the gas. When you were burning at 52, you're burning uh, gas, it lowers the cross country uh, rate to 590 nautical miles. Ah, okay, okay. So it makes a big difference where you operate. Yep. And I know the, uh, especially with the 912 engine, they're very, they've got an eco setting. And if you, mm -hmm. if you pull the throttle back just a little bit to get in that range, all of a sudden that airplane will get yeah. a lot more mileage out of it, yes. won't it? I think most people know that Rotec's uh, fuel rate combined with the throttle setting, it's, it goes along real nicely. It climbs, climbing, and then all of a sudden it just goes vertical. Yeah, sure, sure. Well, that gets you off the ground, and uh, you're supposed to pull back on the throttle. So I'm looking at the canopy here, and, mm -hmm. and uh, it looks like it kind of both pivots and swings down, does it? Yes, it does. It just comes down flat. It's got the a bar. Let's, let's go ahead and pull it down briefly just as, so the camera can see it. I don't want to crash your cable. Right. Okay. okay. That's good. We'll, we'll leave it right there. Yeah, you can uh, you can bring it back up now. That's so. all right. We'll okay. 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 Now let's come back up with it. All right. And it's so got a stop and so back. So it kind of double hinges. It, it kind of yeah. goes like it doesn't just flip up like yeah. this. It sort of double hinges up. Yes. Look kind of interesting, but it made entry to it uh, quite easy. You enter yeah. from the front. Now, a lot of low wings you enter from the back. This one you enter from the front. Yeah. Uh, but you've got it. I was hanging on to it because I yep. watched you get in, and, and this is a good sturdy point to give you a handhold on the we way in. We don't have our hand grips on yet. Okay, you're going to have a hand grip as well. There's a hand then, grip huh? that you need that, that exits. That would be easy plane. to yes. ease you down into the seat. But getting in, you can just grab on this very sturdy structure here. Yes. So, what drew you to this airplane in the first place, Bill? Well, the the distance it can cover, the price of it. Of course, it's the main issue for everybody is the price. First question you're asked, what's the cost? Uh, the, the price of it, uh, the, the airplane uh, is, is well represented throughout the world. Uh, when we, Doc went over to fly, that Doc is our, my partner. Your partner, Doc, that we uh, just met, yeah. Went over to fly the airplane, he loved it. He said it, it flies so easy, you don't move the controls you think it. And it is very, all of the controls are either push rods or roller bearings. So you have the nice, easy controls and it has a rapid roll rate over 360 per second. Oh, wow. So you won't want to slap the thing over very All hard. right, that makes the, an easy controlling the, airplane then. The other thing was it has a 16 to one glide ratio. Oh, okay. Uh, and a doc like that, and he said, this thing flies so easy. We're, we're used to the clunk along Aventura 2 and the uh, Cessna, so. Sure, sure, feet, sure. This seems sleek and quick to you. Where are yeah. you located, Bill? We're located in uh, Rockledge, Florida. That's up on the Space Coast on the east side of Florida. Just, at south, the space of the, center. just south of the big Space Center, huh? We are right there. Yes, sir. All right. And um, uh, do you uh, are you selling them all direct around the country? Or are you going to have dealers? Do well, you have dealers? Yeah, we, we, we're kind of new at this. We are mid last year started into it. Uh, we have a, 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 a location in Virginia. Okay. So that's going to be our northern section, and we're looking for dealers. Okay, so you are, you're going to embrace yes. dealers as you find the right people and like yes. that. Okay, uh, all good. Uh, that's a lot of information. We want to have a, before we sign off here and get that web address from you, we want to have a look at the panel, though. Okay. All right, so now, Bill, we're looking at the panel here, and, and I, I can see the brand name Tektronic, and I know mm -hmm. that's a Czech brand, and they've yeah. 
They've been they've been at it for a long time. Americans are a little less familiar with it. What do you think of this compared to other flat screens you've used? As you can see, the flight director is, is standard flight director. The autopilot's coupled to the flight director and the GPS. Okay, so it, this has autopilot in it as yes, well. Yes, it then. does. Okay. So uh, you can switch from one side to the other. You can have this over there. The, it's standard, uh, just like any Danon or other. You can move anything around that you want. Okay, It has that's synthetic great. vision. It has uh, every, all the displays you need. Uh, and uh, when you use the autopilot, it takes over the autopilot. Then you're flying by the flight director. And you can see the pitch trim and a roll and pitch, this electronic uh, pitch and roll. And of but, course, in the middle, we've got the Garmin 796. We know that's that. Right. It's a yeah. familiar, comfortable model. And it, yeah. it, it, it looks very nice. A nice arrangement here. Backed up with a couple of... Uh, Standby, uh, in case you lose your panel. Yes. OK, looks great, looks great. You want all right, so lots of great information there, Bill. Thank you for walking us through it all. Where do we find out more information than we already gave? And how do they contact you via a web address? www.atec-alas-llc.com. All right, we got that. And uh, everybody can see it there on your screen. You can find more about this airplane and lots of other light sport, light kit, ultralight aircraft in the aviation affordable range on bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining Bill Simmons and myself here at Sebring. Thank you, Dan. Appreciate it much.